Welcome to the introduction to rotary printing on the UVX40R. In this video, we will review the basics of producing high quality prints on cylindrical surfaces using the X40R and the rotary attachment. The UVX40R with rotary attachment is capable of printing on a number of different types of objects. The rotary attachment sits directly on the print bed and translates the linear motion of the bed into rotational motion. Advanced head control features in the Print Pro RIP software allow you to use varying percentages of the head to produce ultra-fine detail or achieve higher speeds. The first step in the rotary setup is to install the magnetic guide brackets on each side of the bed, just in front of the auto height sensors. Use a 3mm hex wrench to bolt the guides to the printer chassis using the tapped holes in the chassis. These brackets sit just above the auto height sensors and can flip out of the way when the printer is in typical use. Lower the bed and place the rotary device onto the bed. Make sure that the rotary sits flat and level with all wheels contacting the bed surface. Move the bed backward and forward to ensure that all rollers spin freely and evenly. Move a pair of rollers out near each side, to the far left and to the far right. Adjust the other rollers evenly across the width of the bed. Always ensure that the rollers are aligned front to back, especially where contacting items to print. The rotary unit contains three pieces, the rotary chassis, the guide bar, and the taper tool. This allows for printing on many different configurations of cylindrical objects. LogoJet also offers a number of different rotary rings for common size cups. The rotary ring is an optional component which allows easy, repeatable leveling and a predictable and consistent roll for some common cups and bottles. In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the taper tool. Set the guide bar to the right side of the rotary, just below the print head carriage. Loosen the set screw and set the taper tool on the rotary chassis. Place the object that you are printing on the rotary wheels and then use the Z-axis down key to move the bed down, making sure that the highest point of the object is below the print head. Place the object to print on the rollers and use the rotary ring or taper tool to ensure the print surface is level. Move the carriage to the left directly over the print surface. Use the carriage and carriage rail as visual guides to ensure the object is level. Raise the bed until the object is within a tight tolerance of the print head, around 1 to 1.5 millimeters. Move the bed back and forth to ensure the object rolls freely in both directions and that the object rolls cleanly and does not contact the print heads. Double check to make sure that your rollers all sit flat against the bed and that they are snapped in place against the magnets. Adjust the guide bar so that there's a little bit of play in the print object. It should not be up against the cylinder so tight that the object cannot roll freely. With your items in place, we need to determine two key measurements. How far in your art needs to print and how large your print will be. In this example, the top of our logo will be 1.5 inches from the start of the printable area and we will make our logo 2.5 inches tall. When ready to print, double click to bring your artwork into the Print Pro layout. Pro tip, if you're using a white underbase, you can use the white underbase choke feature on the image menu to limit the edge of the white. This can help correcting any white poke out you see on the rotary print. Rotate your artwork in Print Pro to the correct orientation. Remember, the top left of the screen in Print Pro represents the front right of the bed on the printer. Now, we set the size of the art by selecting the X size or the height of the logo and checking the tick box to maintain the aspect ratio. Remember, we decided on 2.5 inches as the height of the logo. Next, we will set the X offset, which tells the system how far from the right edge to begin printing. You will see your image shift in from the edge in your Print Pro layout. Now we are ready to set the advanced head control. On the Device Options tab, select the number of segments you would like to divide the head into. You can go up to eight segments. Now, on the Layers tab, choose your white, color, gloss, or other layers. The system will show you what percentage of the head you are using and also provide a warning if your layers are not centered. With all of our settings and layers ready, we can start the print. If you have additional questions about using the rotary device or about other UVX40R capabilities, please contact your LogoJet representative or LogoJet technical support.